Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to get the details of the current channel using the Samsung Smart TV Web API. So before continuing on to this tutorial, you should have a general idea about what the Samsung Smart TV Web API is all about and also you have to install the Samsung Smart TV SDK in your machine. So I have created a playlist in YouTube that has various videos that depict these concepts regarding how to install the Samsung Smart TV SDK and as well as um, like what this what is actually this samsung smart tv web api so please refer to the following link uh, for ideas regarding those concepts so let's get started so fire up your samsung smart tv sdk and first be sure that you have turned on the log receiver so you know um, once your log receiver is turned on you will see a green color status indicator here and i'm going to create a new javascript app project so i'm going to give the project name as channel info so i'm going to leave the other settings as default so this is our main html5 file that gets loaded once our app gets loaded in the tv so in order to add the Samsung Smart TV Web API support to this project, I have to include the Samsung Smart TV Java Web API JavaScript file. So this is how I add the Web API file to my project. So once I have added the script, I have enabled the support for Samsung Smart TV Web API in my project. So in my JavaScript file, I have to get the reference to the channel object. So the main thing, the main chan, cha the main object that we are going to use in this tutorial is the channel object which comes under the channel module of the Samsung Smart TV Web API. So I'm going to get a reference to the channel object like okay, this is how I'll get the reference. So on the odd load function uh, this is the function that gets called once your app gets loaded completely into the emulator or the TV. So in this onload function, I'm going to call the function as get current channel. Okay, so here I'm going to define the function function get current channel. So the function that I'm going to use from this TV channel object reference to get the current channel is TV channel of dot get current channel. And here I have to give the window ID of the corresponding window from which I'm going to retrieve the list channel. So the default window ID is zero, which is by default the TV source that from which we are going to get the details of the current channel and the result that you will be getting is a channel info object. So if you want to take a look at the channel info object, these are the list of properties that you are going to get in this particular variable. So these are the properties that we will be getting like PTC, the major channel number, the minor channel number, the source ID, the LCN, the program number, the transfer stream ID, service name, channel name, etc, etc, etc. So once this function is called, an object containing these properties regarding to the current channel will be stored in my channel info variable. So I'm going to print all these variables. So I'm going to print like 
the etc channel info dot ptc then major number to channel info dot major So here I have given only a handful of properties that I am going to retrieve using this channel info object. So this is the entire list of properties that is that will be retrieved from the channel info object. So here for demo purposes I am going to print only the major or the most commonly used properties. You can use the name the name list or the name of the property list here and you can retrieve whatever values you want from the corresponding channel object okay so for this function we'll be getting the details of the current channel so what we want to get the list of all channels that our provider is going to provide through our tv so for that i'm going to define a new function like get the list of all channels so i'm going to Define this function. Function get the list of all channels. So, uh, for getting the list of all channels, I am having a function called the get channel list. Okay, so the get channel list definition goes like this. So, for that, I am going to use the same T channel object reference. In that, I am going to Call the function called get channel list, and this function has a list of parameters. The first one being the success callback function, which gets called when this function gets executed successfully. So I'm going to define the function as get channel list success, and uh, the second parameter will be the failure callback that gets called once this function experience any error during its execution and the next thing that i'm going to tell is the scan mode the scan mode will tell you how you are going to scan or the type of scan methodology that you are going to implement to get the list of all channels so here i'm going to give the channel scan mode as navigator mode all so i will give you a rough, an introduction of uh, about what this parameter actually means and the next parameter will be my start channel number that is from which channel number i'm going to start my scan until which channel number i'm going to end my scan okay so this is the function once this function gets executed, either it will be a success or a failure. Once the once it is a success, this is the function that gets called channel list success. And here this function will be having a single parameter which is a channel info object array so here in the get current channel you will be getting the channel object that representing a single channel so here in the channel list you will be getting a list of channel objects each channel object will be representing a specific channel 
okay so here as in given in the same parameter list here I'm just going to print the list so far we're going to use a for loop since it is an array I'll be using the length parameter and for here for demo purposes I'm going to just print the channel name so channel name plus channel info array of the corresponding channel info object dot channel name so here I am just using the channel name to print the list of all channels you can use whatever parameter you want so this is the entire list of parameters or the properties that is in the channel object okay so once this function gets called and it is executed successfully this is the function that called so suppose if for some reason this function failed to execute then this is the method that is going to get called okay so this e represents the type error object that is going to get returned to this function so here i'm just going to print okay failure in getting the channel list so i'm going to print the name of the error along with this log message and that's it which function is set and the main thing that i'm going to say here is the type of scanning mode that is being implemented here so there are various scanning modes that are used in our project so these are the scanning modes navigator uh, mode or navigate navigator mode analog navigator mode digital navigator mode favorite okay these are the four types of scan modes that you are going to implement while getting the list of our channels so the first one will be scanning the entire list of channels irrespective of the type of channels so the second one will be scanning only the channels that are coming from the analog input or the analog provider so if you are getting if your tv is getting the channel list from an analog connection this is the mode that is act, uh, opt for you know channel scanning the list of your channels so if your tv is getting a digital input so this is the mode that you are going to use and if you if you go on to retrieve the list of channels from your favorites list then this is the mode so here by default i'm going to use the navigator mode all which is by default going to scan all the channels no matter whether it's an analog or a digital or uh, it's the one that's stored in your favorite list it will scan all of those channels no matter the type of channel that you're going to scan okay so this is the mode that i'm using here and you can use whatever mode you want from the list that i'm showing here okay so the function for getting the list of current channels have been set up and suppose you want to get the details of a channel say you know the channel number and by giving this number you are going to get the details of the current channel so this function what it does is like it will get the details of the channel that is currently being played in your tv okay so for getting the details of a channel with the corresponding channel number but that channel is not being currently displayed in your tv either it is being displayed or not that is by giving input by the channel id as the input you are going to retrieve the channel information for that you have a function called so i'm going to give get channel by id this is the function 
website which I'm going to implement. Get channel by ID. Okay, inside this, this is the function. So far, I'm not going to use the same TV channel object reference, and there is a function called find channel. So this function will be having four parameters like the major channel ID, the minor channel ID, the success callback, get channel success, and the failure callback. Okay, so I'm going to define the Success. I'm going to define the failure callback. Inside the failure callback, I'm going to give a simple message like failed to retrieve the specified channel. So I'm going to just Print the name of the error that has been occurred so that while debugging you can know what is exactly the error that has happened in this place. So this success callback will be getting a channel info object. So by using this channel info object you can print the properties of this object. These are the list actually, but I'm here for simplicity purposes. I'm just going to print the channel name okay so here the I'm just going to print a message as the channel name is like channel info dot channel name so these are the three functions by which you can access the details of the current channel that is either you can get the details of the current channel or you can get the details of a channel by specifying its channel number or you can get the list of all the channels by specifically scanning them like either they are analog or digital or favorite list or no matter what the list they belong to you can use the navigator mode all to scan the list of the entire channels and you can get the details of a channel so here oops i have not given the major and the minor so for major, I'm giving the number as say 10. And for minor, I'm giving the number say 0. Okay. So once I give this, I will get the channel details of the channel with the ID 10. So this 10 will be will not be a constant. Um, in so that depends upon the provider. Who is going to give you so for each providers for the 10 represents channel A in the provider and the next provider may be having channel B in 10 so that depends entirely upon your provider and that is not a constant this one function what it does is like it will retrieve the channel object of the channel that is specified or set up under the ID 10 okay so these are the functions that you're going to use to get the channel details of your TV. So stay tuned for further videos and thanks for watching. Thank you.